When I was really small, my mom tells a story where I would ask her to draw me things constantly. I was a complete annoyance. Uh, and I would say, draw me, you know, a dinosaur, draw me a shark. Uh, and one day, my impetuous little self, after seeing her drawing, I was like, nah, that ain't it. Took the pen from her and I started drawing a little shark next to hers. And she was like, all right, well, if you're gonna do that, this is just what you do from now on. Uh, so it was just, it started very early um, as just that compulsion just to draw. And I drew out of encyclopedias. I drew out of, you know, nature magazines, things like that. My name is Zachary Lank. I was born in Maryland, just outside of Annapolis, back in 1989. I came to New York in 2008, and I graduated from the New York Academy of Art in 2018. Uh, and I'm here as the first alumni Chubb Fellow for the 2022-23 year, and it's the first year that they've opened that up to alumni. And it's been an incredible opportunity. But after my time as a student at the Academy, you almost go through this process afterward of like actually processing and learning the things that you learn and simultaneously kind of like unlearning other things that maybe you picked up. So you're digesting is what you're doing. And coming to something like a new synthesis. Uh, and for me, I mean, that came through pretty much when the pandemic hit, I had this moment where I was removed from everything else, nothing else was going on, and I finally kind of felt like I could just use the skills that I had to say the things that I wanted to say and not have to worry about anybody else being in my mind. And, you know, that's, that's what I took away as far as my, you know, learning. But what you also get from the Academy are friendships and relationships. <laughs> Sorry, I'm getting, um, I met my wife here, Victoria Martinotti, now Lank. We got married uh, a year and change ago now. Um, so, met back in Cynthia Airdley's uh, Ecorche class <laughs> and uh, started dating, I think, like second semester, first year. And now we live together in Crown Heights and it's just, it's wonderful. I mean, that's the best thing. Yeah. <laughs> it's the best thing that could happen to you.